Hi, Justin Ledvina here. I'm going to show you my method on how I use the new Facebook lead generation ads. So when you come into your Facebook ads manager, you're presented with this screen. If you're not presented with the screen, all you have to do is create a new campaign and then you'll come up to the screen. So you can see it says, what are your marketing objectives? And if you've ever used the Facebook uh, ads manager before, the screen is very familiar to you. But you'll notice since February, there's been something called lead generation. And I'm absolutely in love with this feature right now. So we're going to click it and we're going to create a new uh, lead generation campaign. Let's just call this one um, affiliate guide example. I'm a terrible typer. I'm two fingers and I still look at the keyboard. <laughs> Forgive me for that. So we're going to hit continue. Uh, now we need to name our ad set. So I'm just going to call this one um, affiliate. Terrible speller as well. Affiliate guide giveaway. And you have to have a Facebook page to do this. Uh, if you don't have a Facebook page, it's really easy to create one. Go ahead, quickly create one. That's It's needed to create the last step of this. So if you already have a Facebook page, select the one that you want. Just to drop down. Some people manage multiple pages. But here I just have Rocket Responder in there. Uh, and then you're going to create your audience. I'm going to let you handle that on your own. I'm just going to uh, create an audience that I've already had selected. So I've already created an audience here, as you can see, the locations and what their interests are. And that's basically what you're going to create when you create a new one. So the placements, I'm going to set to automatic. And my budget and my schedule. So here I set $5. Now this is all about your own preference. The reason why I set $5 to start is just in case I make a mistake, I put in the wrong link, I typed the word wrong. It limits the waste of my money and also the embarrassment of having something happen like that and it happens often especially when you're an entrepreneur and you're doing multiple things and you work from home that happens so I set to five dollars make sure that I'm getting leads it's doing what I want so my optimization delivery I'm gonna set the leads I do bid mat a uh, bid amount automatic in the beginning it'll cost me more but as the Facebook algorithm gets smarter and learns what it is I want and I get better at setting my targets and my um, my audiences that's going to go down dramatically. I like to run my ads all the time and have a standard delivery type. So I hit continue. So for this ad, I mean, there's multiple different ones you can do. I, I have two that I really like, which is the single image and the single video. But for simplicity sake, I'm going to just do uh, the single image. I'm going to browse my library because I already have this image, or maybe I don't. Yes, I do. I already have this image saved right here. So I created an image super easy to do you can do it on canva or if you're good at photoshop you can add multiple images here i think you can add up to six ads at once but here you can already start to see that my ads being creative and as you can see if you saw this on facebook you'd be like this is this is getting pretty good and we haven't added any words in yet so the first thing is the headline and when you type this in let's quickly just type in letters here this is going to refresh and you're going to see where this goes so i did that real quick i'm like okay so that goes there so i'm just going to put uh, free report PDF so people know that they're gonna get a free PDF report and when they refresh that right there so this is text want to see where it goes so I'm gonna jam some letters in there oh this is fantastic so learn why most people struggle at affiliate marketing there we go. Might even change that down even shorter, but that's okay. So my call to action is they're going to be downloading a PDF, so I want to put the download. And here we got the Newsline link description. So I'm unsure what that is, so let's type that here. There we go, right underneath. So I'm just going to name this one How Super Affiliates Dominate, which is the actual name of the guide. 
the display link, I believe that this goes right underneath there. And I don't like to put that because it starts to add too much stuff underneath that. So this looks pretty good. So we're going to head down here now to our lead forms. And this is my favorite part. So I've already created a few lead forms and I've learned some mistakes while doing this. When you create a lead form, once it's created, you cannot edit it. So these names, when it says untitled lead forms, I'm not able to edit. So we need to be very careful. So what we want to do is create a new form. And the very top, which I didn't notice the first time around, is right here. So I'm going to create our lead form. We're going to give this thing a name. And this one's going to be Affiliate Guide Giveaway. So I know exactly what the name of this form is. And this comes in very important for later on when I show you how I connect this up. So they want to give you a welcome screen. Now, I've been testing this with and without welcome screens. I can tell you with almost certainty that this doesn't matter. My results are almost similar. So I actually shut it off. And my philosophy behind that is less is more. Less steps means more action or more potential for action and less chances for them to leak somewhere else. So I just leave that off. You can mess with that all you want. So here is you can see where the questions are going to ask, what kind of information. I'm very generic. I like to, when I'm going to do for this, I just want their name and their email so that I can just initiate some form of contact and start the conversation. But for what you're doing, you may need more information. And the great part about it is look at all this information you can click. Now I know you're probably thinking as well, well the more information I have to add, the less likely the action they take at the end. And that's actually untrue for this because all they need to do is one step. All of this information that goes here is going to be pre-populated with information that they already have in Facebook. All they need to do is either hit submit or back. So I'm just going to collect for now their email and their full name. Now you're going to need two different things here to make this work. You're going to need a privacy policy. You can use your own privacy policy, but since you're going to be using Rocket Responder, you can use our privacy policy. You're going to be sending from our servers. You are more than welcome to use our privacy policy. So that goes here. And I'm just going to put privacy policy. There we go. So now it's right there. So you have your privacy policy in there. You can add your own custom disclaimers. That's all up to you. Now we need our thank you screen. For me, I'm giving away this PDF guide. So what I want them to have is the once they have it, go right to my PDF guide. So now I'm going to finish. And you'll now see that my form has been created. So I'm going to review my order. And when it's ready, I can place my order. Now that we've set up our form in our ad, let's hold it over and let me introduce you to our new Facebook funnel. So you come over here and you'll see we're at Rocket Responder Launchpad Facebook. And this is fantastic. So when you first come in, you're going to be given an option to link up your Facebook. So it's just a button. You click it. A pop-up box comes up. You confirm that you want to link your Facebook account to your Rocket Responder account. And you will see something very similar to this. This will be all of the Facebook pages that you manage. And you can see uh, this looks like it's Tim. Tim Linden's our one of our developers here. Uh, he has a YouTube channel, and we have some other side projects that we do. But here are our, all of our Facebook pages. So here on the side, you can select a catch-all. In other words, every form that you create that you do not assign a list to, it'll go to this. So here, for Rocket Responder, we created one called Rocket Responder Facebook. So any lead that we capture that's not assigned to a form will go to our Rocket Responder Facebook list. But I created a form to give away a guide. And the reason why I was giving away a guide is because I wanted to put them into a follow-up series. So if we go back a page here, you'll see Rocket Responder here. And I got the catch-all, the default list. But here, let's view the individual forms for Rocket Responder. And now you can see the two untitled forms that I created. But the one that I just made, the Affiliate Guide Giveaway, I can now select an individual list that anyone that wants to download the guide gives to. And right up top, we'll see, I want them to go to email marketing for affiliate marketers. And that's it. You don't have to hit anything else. This is all it's been a few now. hours now since we've set up our lead generation ad on Facebook. And I wanted to come back in and check on it so you could see the progress. So here you can see the ad. And I'm on the ad campaign tab. And it's currently active. 
we've already gotten five leads from this off of just reaching 267 people. So 267 people have seen the ad, five people have taken action and given us their contact information. I checked on this, it is in our rocket responder list and the associated form and when you go look you'll see that it came from Facebook in which specific lead form. Here I can see what my cost per acquisition is. Currently I'm sitting at $2.59. In the beginning, don't worry too much about this number. It is going to be high. Facebook is learning what you want and we're just testing to make sure this works. Over the course of time, I've seen this drop down to uh, between 50 and 75 cents for my specific need, which is giving away a PDF. So I hope you enjoy Facebook funnels. If you need any help with it, we're always happy to help Tim, John, and I, and good luck with your advertising ventures on Facebook.